Hello everyone, Linda aka The Gamer Girl here, and today I went game hunting. I went to two pawn shops and a Goodwill. We are here at the first pawn shop. In the beginning there was a Quantum Break 500 gig white Xbox One, and then you go into the front and all their stuff was in the front. Not a huge selection, there was some systems, and there was some Genesis games, so the only thing that I saw was Genesis games. I took a look at all of them. The only ones that were interested in were Paperboy and um, the tennis game. I can't remember the name. And the rest of them were sports columns. Yeah, I looked at all of them and the pins were messed up. That was what's sad. I was going to take this one. The, the game looked pretty good. But then when you looked at the pins on the back, they were messed up. So then I went to the Goodwill. This Goodwill, there was not a huge selection. It was a bunch of sports titles and a PC game in the back. And when I went to the other side, there was a PC game, and there was only a Wii game. I took a look just to see if there was anything different in it, but no, it was just one Wii game. So, I moved on to the next one, which was a pawn shop. It was a value pawn. That one had a really big selection when I went to there. The pawn shop had a huge selection of systems. They had PS4s right in the front, and then when you move to the side, they had the handhelds. Unfortunately, they didn't realize that a lot of the games and the systems required certain things like the two rock candies They required a USB and they didn't have those connectors. So I had to let those go They had a PlayStation TV, which was rare to see I wasn't gonna pick one up But it was one thing that I would want to see and look for if I could find it. I Looked and a lot of the systems were messed up. They didn't even clean anything. They were missing cords. They were missing a whole bunch of stuff and Some of them they just didn't work I don't know if they were just not caring and they're like as is parts only But it was like a minefield of crazy So as you look there is Xbox ones on the top a lot of them are boxed I didn't want to take the time to look and see if there's anything in them because I already have an Xbox One. But I was looking for another Xbox 360 just to have as a backup. But a lot of the Xbox 360s, I didn't want to take a chance because this one, if you see it, they didn't even dust it off. So I'm like, why would I take the chance if they don't even bother to dust it off? That tells me that they don't test their systems. So I went and I got two Xbox 360 games. Bullet Witch, and Left 4 Dead 2. Somebody decided to be funny and draw a bunch of penises on there, so I censored it so I wouldn't get flagged. Thankfully, with some magic marker, they came off and did not damage the cover. Hopefully, I don't find any more games with penises on them. As always, this is Linda K. The Gamer Girl. Keep on gaming. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.